Hey guys, uh, I want to show you a really cool puzzle that I made with my 3D printer, my FDM printer. Uh, these are extensions for a 5x5 and it is a mirror 5x5. So you may or may not have noticed, but I just got a new logo sticker. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. It looks absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. So it's a transparent uh, logo, so I can put it on basically any surface I want, and I, I think that looks really amazing. Now, let me explain um, basically how I did this, how I made this, and the extent of uh, the work I did on that to complete it. So the thing is, I designed extensions on SolidWorks. These are pretty basic. Um, they're just like for the centers. It's just a rectangle that's uh, that's like five millimeter thick. It's it's just it's really really simple. It's just extensions, right? And then what I did was I printed it on my FDM printer, and I glued the parts on and painted them black again because the thing is my black plastic is black, but the glue the super glue actually seeps through it and then leaves white marks and actually uh, goes through the stickers and leaves white marks on the stickers. Bad experience, but at least I won't be making a, the same mistake again. Now, what I did was I glued all those parts and that was it. So unlike the, the bump 4x4 that I, uh, that I got as a gift from, uh, from Twisty Tex, um, or basically Casey, um, where he actually filled in the the gaps uh, between the the filament, you know, the the filament printed extensions and the four x four. Well, I just left it as it was, so the quality is not even close to what I got from Casey. Uh, let me see if I can show you the, the lines uh, from the three D printing process. You can see them well right here, and you can definitely see the 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 little gap between the extensions and the five x five. Uh, which is something you can definitely not see on uh, on Casey's version. You see, there they were right here, and you can't see them. So it's it. This one is much more professional. You can barely see the lines of the four x four. Um, but this is just something I wanted for pleasure because I enjoyed the four x four so much. I wanted to make my own on a five x five. So let's see. So the quality is still quite nice. Uh, I mean, it's it's. There is this uh, this sort of printed plastic noise that you can hear. It's not the same as what Casey did, so obviously his was better. But then again, mine was simpler, so I, I didn't spend hundreds of hours, or no, well maybe not hundreds, but I didn't spend dozens of hours working on mine. Uh, it was just just a small job, to be honest. Um, and it was quite simple to make. Now, also, I've tried these new stickers from uh, Oliver. I, I actually tried them on the on the two by two by three that I may have uploaded already. I think I did. Um, well, I tried these uh, these stickers, and uh, I think they look really nice. It's it's just like mirror stickers, except you get this sort of rainbow aspect to it. So if I turn it like that. You can see the the different colors switch. Now I think it's it's quite a nice addition to the puzzle. It makes it a bit um, joyful and a bit more uh, colorful. So that's that's always uh, good to have. Um, so. so all right. So that was a checkerboard pattern, by the way. Uh, something I find quite fun with this puzzle is that you can also get some uh, some pretty crazy patterns. Let me see if I can get that one. Um, all right, it doesn't spin as well as Casey's version, obviously, uh, and you can notice that. See, this is the the pattern that where you get you know a circle inside a circle inside a circle. And I think it looks really cool on a bump cube. It it's it looks amazing. Here, it actually sinks in and goes back up. Like this is really really cool. And I completely forgot where I made it. The patterns, so I'm gonna have to improvise right now. That was that was quite stupid of me. Um, seriously, like, I don't even know what I did. Okay, let's let's uh, try to fix this. All right, I think I got it. Okay, so that was the first part, and now I got those little centers right there, and that will be not that way. That way. Not that way. 
All right. See, this is, this pattern is almost harder to make on the on the mirror five x five because here you can you actually get the, that shape shift thing. That's quite confusing. I, I think it's fun. Um, and uh, yeah, one final thing before I go. Um, you said you liked when I scrambled my puzzles. Usually, I don't have the time. But let's be honest, this is just a 5x5, five five, so it's not like it's going to take me an hour to solve. So I am going to be scrambling this now. Alright. This is uh, already confusing. Alright, so as you can see, by the way, um, I've had a few lockups already. Now this is because, well, simply put, I didn't make a perfect uh, mirror 5x5. Five five. If you want it to be perfect, like if you make your own, uh, don't hesitate to do what Casey did, fill in the gaps and everything so you don't get any lockups. Uh, I don't mind, I just wanted to own a mirror 5x5, five five, but it, it's, it's a problem for solving, I guess. Um, so, so yeah, this is uh, what it looks like scrambled. This is pretty insane. Let me see if I can get the focus. All right. So yeah, a pretty crazy puzzle right there. Uh, if you want me to solve it, please leave me a comment in the disc in the in the comment section below, and uh, I'll, I'll consider solving it um, depending on how many how many people are interested in such a video. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, have a nice day. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and this puzzle, um, and if you have a printer at home, I have good news for you. I have decided to publish the files for this puzzle. So if you want one, you can print it at home. Feel free to do that. The files are right here. Uh, also, feel free to subscribe, like my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video.